Hey beautiful soul, I am Joy Giovanni, Joyful Medium, and we are here today for the weekly mini message. In the past, I've done them as weekly readings, and then I shifted to weekly mini readings, and now I'm going to do mini messages for the week ahead. Uh, I don't really read cards in my practice as a medium. I read them personally for myself, so I always feel a little funny working with cards for you guys because it's not a session that anyone can book with me. So I've decided to shift it into messages because I give messages from spirit all the time and what a better way to end one week and marinate in the energy of what's coming for the next week than to do a mini message at the end of the week. So that's what we're doing today. If you haven't seen the Spirit Speakeasy podcast that released uh, New Year's Day, Happy New Year, by the way, uh, that is the seven themes of 2023. So seven themes that you can expect to show up for you this year. You're not going to want to miss that. And there's an awesome episode coming uh, this Monday, January 9th, but I won't, uh, I won't tell you about that just yet. Okay. So our card for today, it's from this beautiful deck. Um, I've got it separated here. This lid's just a little bit hard to put on, but it's this Rebecca Campbell, um, the Rose Oracle. Uh, and I'm making a giant mess over here trying to show you this box, but this is kind of what the box looks like and the lid just slides on top. Not sponsored by this deck, just a fan of it. So here is our message for today, Friday, January 6th into this weekend and then covering the whole next week that I just want you to take in, sit with, ponder, see how this message stirs in you over the next few days. This message is healing is happening. You are not broken. Trust the process. It is safe to soften. And I'm gonna show you this card and what it looks like. It is so beautiful, this deck. Healing's happening. So what I want to remind you is even if you are feeling frustrated with your personal development journey or your personal healing journey or whatever it is you might personally be working on, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes. It doesn't mean that you're not processing things, that things aren't moving to your awareness, that the universe, your guides, your loved ones aren't orchestrating things to show up for you in new ways as you heal, as you progress, as you grow yourself. Even if you don't feel like you're seeing the results in the pace that you want, what you'll see in that episode, uh, the seven themes for 2023, is that this is a slow and steady year. So healing is happening and truly you're not broken. We all have things we wanna work on. We all have ways that we can fine tune to be the best version of ourselves and to continue to show up as our most complete and authentic selves, but you're not broken. You never have been. You might be hurt, you might be wounded. There might be things you need to heal from. And this card is just to let you know that healing is happening. Now, I feel like this might resonate with different people in different ways because, of course, we're all in very unique places in our journey. So if you're someone that's been doing your healing work, doing your personal development work, doing some sort of meditation or contemplation, reading, any of that, and you have been feeling like, what the heck, nothing is happening, I'm not healing, I'm not growing, this message is for you to let you know, hey, healing's happening calm yourself. We used to say, cool your jets. Um, you know, healing's happening, whether you are feeling it as these profound, single, solitary experiences, or whether it's very subtle and slight and little bits behind the scenes, deep inside as you go. Healing's happening. So trusting the process, reminding yourself that you are not broken, you're just learning a new way, and also that you can trust the process and it is safe to soften. So sometimes when we wanna heal something or grow something or learn something, our immediate human nature is to tighten up, right? Scared, fear, don't look in there, don't look under that rock, definitely don't look at that closet. But it's okay, you can soften, you can breathe, you can remind yourself, I'm open to healing and growth now. I receive healing now. I accept growth now. I'm not broken. I'm processing. I'm in process. Maybe even coming up with a little mantra for yourself around that. So let me know how this resonates with you. Um, I'm so joyful to be here with you guys today. Happy January. Happy New Year. This is going to be an incredible year. Let me know if you check out that seven 
themes for 2022 Spirit Speakeasy episode. I think you're going to like it. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. Um, And I will give you a little bit of a spoiler about Monday's episode that's going to release on the 9th. It is with this incredible medium teacher, healer, speaker, Mark Lanehart, the intuitive prospector. So he's going to talk to us about his two near-death experiences and how these very significant traumatic losses in his life helped to open up his gift of mediumship uh, in a way that he was not expecting. So don't miss that conversation. Big hugs, lots of love. Um, We have our free community healing coming up. So if you uh, are not on the email list, go ahead and get on it on my website, joyfulmedium.com and be watching your email box because I'm going to be sending the link out for that. It is going to be Tuesday the 17th at 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern. Um, Check your local time zone. Big hugs, lots of love. Happy New Year. Bye for now.